The Bleak Inlet is calling us once again. But first, we have some bread making to do. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where I do indeed have some bread making, specifically bannocks and rosehip pies that I would like to make before we get going here. So let's pick up the bedroll, and I'm going to head for the exit here. The storm outside has not yet turned into a full-blown blizzard, which is lovely, and I'm happy about it. So what I'm going to do here is take this opportunity to look around for a little bit more wood. Not a lot, just a little. It's been plenty of time since the last time we relied on this cave for any kind of shelter. An advantage of stepping out here and also looks like there's some birch bark. An advantage of stepping out here and looking around for more wood is that it will also tire me out a little bit more so that I can sleep for a solid amount of time after this cooking is done and then wake up with daylight and with a decent amount of rest and proceed from there. Nice. All right, so there's a stick. I'm going to use my hands and break this up. Ten minutes in this wind is not the best, but it's fine. That's a demon. All right, I think that's another branch, maybe. Yeah, it is. Yep, need to be very mindful of how long that is taking me to do. Here's a stick, though. Whew. Sure getting cold. Okay. Ooh, a couple of birch saplings here. I'm not going to worry about those right now. I have some arrow shafts in my inventory. And I don't need to pick up anything else because right now, one of the reasons that I'm cooking is that I actually need to reduce my weight so that I can make a climb here. So we're going to take some of the flour that I'm lugging around and make some things. And that will partially address the issue. Wait, I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. No, you're not. You are most decidedly not. All right, I'm going to break down a few of these. It's not ideal, but at the same time, it's worth it for the sticks. I'm not so cold, and the weather is not so bad that it's really hurting me to do that. So let's now make our way back towards the cave, which is going to be here on the right after I pass this next next bend. I know it's quite dark, so YouTube is probably slaughtering this image right now. I could get out of my lantern now that I have so much lantern fuel. <laughs> I suppose there's that. I'm used to conserving lantern fuel, but we found a jerry can left behind during our previous visit here that has just so much fuel and still has more in it. And it's a reasonably common spawn, too, in this area of the game. It shows up a lot. Okay, let me put down my bedroll, first and foremost, and hang on. I want to have a sense for exactly where I'm pointing when I do this. All right, there we go. There we go. would match using a stick and there's our fire come on little fire thankfully we got that piece of coal which should be very helpful now let's get started skillet I kind of doubt that I'm going to be able to make anything in this pot. I will be able to make the birch bark teas, which is nice, but primarily I think what I'm going to do here is make some water. 
I want to make sure that I have the water I need to make all the rest of the things that I want to cook right now because there are teas to prepare. There, there's just a lot to do. So, let's see here. I could make the rose hip pie, which I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. It's going to take 56 minutes to make. That's worth it. Let's go ahead and do that. Of course, we have to prep it. 45 minutes till ready. All right, now I need to keep an eye on the water here, but let's pass time. All right, now that's going to be ready in 27 minutes. That'll be ready in 41. So we're going to pass time until that's ready. Grab the rose hip pie, and now we're going to make Bannock. Right Again, this is going to help us shed a little bit of weight as we convert all of the flour that I'm carrying and some of the cooking oil into food. All right, let's drink some water there. And how much water do I have? Point in eight gallons. I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to go ahead and make more. And I'm also going to pile these sticks onto the fire because there's no sense lugging them around. 15 minutes till that's ready. Let's go ahead and grab those. Make a few more. All right, 14 minutes till that's melted. Let's go ahead. Need to be mindful of the fire length, but weather's looking great. I think every time I make the bannock bread, it's actually two of them that's produced, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is, because I've got four now. So that's pretty freaking fantastic. And they weigh 0.11 pounds each, and they're 250 calories each. The gourmet rosehip pie is going to be particularly nice. It gives me a little bit more energy when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and pass time here. Let's drink that. I'm going to take those, cook some more. One hour, 48 minutes on the fire. I might need to step out and get some more wood for this fire. But let's take a look at what I can eat. Yeah, I actually don't have a ton of extra weight. I'm still, I'm less than 10 pounds. Especially once I'm fully rested. From being able to make the climb. So that's quite positive. I can eat these cattails. Or at least some of them. To keep myself well fed. I also haven't prepared this coffee yet. I've been sitting on it for a bit. So there's that possibility. How am I doing on water? I think I'm good on water. Let's go ahead and start making some teas. This is beautiful. All right, so I'm only going to be able to make two more of these, which is to say four more. Hour and 14 minutes on the fire. Weather doesn't sound great. Let me step outside real quick. Wait, hang on. 13 minutes till ready. All right, I need to be mindful of that. I cannot linger forever. What I'm going to do is kind of hang a right. And look for wood in this direction. Because I kind of went left last time. And I think there's probably, especially if I go up this slope. Yeah, the visibility is really quite good at the moment. So... Did I put all the sticks on the fire? Yes, I did. I piled them all on there because I wanted to get rid of the weight. Another Aurora. Wow. Or at least that's the soundtrack implying one. So the game's thinking about it pretty hard, but it's not literally giving me one yet. It's trying to make up its mind between a storm and an Aurora. How do we want to torture the player tonight? That is the question the Long Dark asks itself. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm just going to break this up. And I'm going to run back to the cave. It's just three sticks. It's not going to add a ton of time, unfortunately. But that wasn't a very successful wood run. I picked up more than I thought I would, and there's less kind of hanging around now. I just don't want to miss those bannocks, because that's food. Oh, hang on. There's a stick. Double stick. Nice. Well, that worked out. And there's a branch right there, too, by the cave entrance. There's a couple of branches. I feel like those might have just spawned. Okay. So... I, yeah, I feel like those might have literally just appeared. So let's step back here. Grab those. One more bannock. And I think that's literally it. I don't think there's more that I can do there. Let's add some more fuel to this fire. Now I can make some birch bark tea. I'm not going to prepare the burdock tea. I'd prefer to have those to munch on. I'll make the reishi tea. And I'll make the rosehip tea. All right, now... Yeah, so no more bannocks. Good to know. So with that, what I can do is I can double up. That's it. So I've made everything I need to make perfect. That was faster than I thought it would be. All right, so now with that, I'm going to go ahead and chow down on the remaining cattails. The flour does not weigh, as I try to eat salt, the flour does not weigh nearly as much. Water-wise, uh, water might be one of the things I leave behind. I know that's a strange thing to say, but I have all these teas right now. Oh, you know what? I have the coffee. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. I absolutely need to make that coffee. So let's make that happen. How much water do I have? Enough of coffee. Let's go ahead and sort the other way so that it's the top of the list. Perfect. I think I'll be able to make all of them. And that's it. Wait, no. I might have accidentally picked up the coffee from the last one. That's fine, though. There we go. That's it. Beautiful. Now we've got coffee as well. But yeah, I think I'll have enough to drink that's not water, just in the form of teas. All right, I'm not going to take a torch off this fire. I normally would, but right now it's not necessary. I'll drink some water here. I might not need to do this. We'll see. I'm going to have to drop some stuff, though, that's for sure. Okay, so... I'm going to sleep for nine hours here. We're in the back of this cave. It'll be warm enough. Unless we won't be, and I'm about to die. Which would not be funny. Yeah, we're fine. Woke up fully rested. Nice. All right, so I've got to pick up the bedroll there. And that's most of the day, actually. <laughs> which sucks, but it is what it is. How's my health? All right, health is completely fine. So what I need to do is drink the water so I can keep as much of the rest of this stuff as I can. Wait. Am I crazy or did my weight just go up? We can go back and watch it in the, in the playback. Or I can. You can just watch right now. You can just rewind and see what happened. Oh, that's weird. Okay, um... I didn't realize this much of the day was going to go by. So it must have been... I, I literally spent the night cooking. Didn't mean to take that much time cooking. So what I'm doing is just being a bit of a perfectionist with my clothing. It's not going to help that much in terms of warmth. It'll help a little. But it 
mainly is reducing the amount of excess cloth that I'm lugging around. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. You're hungry, are you? Lucky for you, you just made tons of food. So, let's enjoy some of these bannocks. This will, of course, okay, yeah, weights back down a little bit. Yeah, ironically, I'm now eating half the food that I, you know, <laughs> made. But the main purpose in doing that, ironically, was not necessarily to get food. It was to reduce my encumbrance in a sensible way. Okay, speaking of reducing encumbrance in a sensible way, I don't need any torches on me right now. And there we go. That's actually most of it. Believe it or don't. That's most of the weight. So what can I drop? I could drink a coffee. I'll drink one coffee for the calories and to gain some energy. Is there anything else? I'm carrying a ton of marine flares, but I'm about to go into a Timberwolf heavy zone. So I'm honestly kind of okay with that. I am carrying a cured gut and a rabbit hide. I could go ahead and repair the rabbit skin mitts, but it would not be very efficient. I think what I'd rather do is use up some of my cloth here, and that's what I'm going to do. So we're going into Bleak Inlet. There's a cave at the bottom that I'll be able to rest in, so I'm not concerned about venturing into dangerous territory without shelter. I'm actually feeling pretty good about where we're at right now. Let's see. Sword by weight. One last check. <laughs> Just had a thought like, huh, could always drop some matches. I'll eat some prepared burdock here. And now we're good for the climb. Let's, um, I'm going to grab this jerry can and just make sure that this is full. There we go. So it's at the very end of the day here. It's a weird time to be traveling. But the weather actually looks phenomenal. All considered. My clothing is in the best condition it's been in on average for probably 20 or 30 episodes. So it's time at long last after that lovely ending to Against All Odds Season 6 back in 2020. Hard to believe it's been that long. The game has expanded considerably in that time. But yeah, it is time to return to Bleak Inlet. We've of course been to Bleak Inlet multiple times this year, just not in an Against All Odds context. Honestly, perfect weather to make this trip. I'm really happy about this. Should be able to make this entire climb in one go. There are some sticks on that ledge. That's good to know, but I don't need them right now. And the potential to find some things down here and also find food is quite high. It's one of the reasons I'm not concerned because there is a cave, first of all. There's a cave down here, so I know I'll be able to sleep. But let's go ahead and step back this direction and just start our loot run, because there's gonna be a lot here. Well, let's say there's gonna be a lot of potential. We'll put it that way. I'm gonna immediately become encumbered again, but that's fine. I'm really happy with 
the amount of stuff I was still able to bring with me just now. Hello. A heavy hammer. I don't need one, though, because I'm about to go to a spot where there already is a heavy hammer. That's an interesting find, though, for sure. Okay, now... Oh, there's a stem. How about that? I need to be mindful of, like, revolver rounds, because they love to be camouflaged in this particular type of flooring, but they're not. All right, cool. Let's keep moving. Grab some sticks while I can. What's interesting about where we're headed in Bleak Inlet is that this top area of, of Bleak Inlet is the area where, at least to my recollection, the Timberwolves tend to congregate more. Aside from the cannery, which is the other area where you tend to see them. So, work is cut out for me. To say the very least. Because I'm heading into an area where I know there's a pretty good chance of seeing a Timberwolf pack almost immediately. Okay, I'm not seeing a prop deer here, but there... Oh, yep, there it is. I just don't... Well... I should have clarified. I couldn't hear carrion crows. I can hear them now. Okay, that's a decent amount of meat, so I will be able to cook that in a moment. But first, there's also a bunny hanging out here. Nice. More sticks for that fire. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Oh wait, there's a reishi mushroom too. Things are really, at the moment, like, I feel like I'm finding a lot of stuff. It might be in part just because I'm more comfortable where we currently are, like I've been here more. Like I know where things are, but I also, despite that, like I'm just, I'm finding things. We've got more cattails. We have more teas. We have birch bark. We have food. We have a prop deer. There's just a lot of promise in the air right now, and I'm loving it. And lots still to go. Let's see. Have that stick. There's a couple of reishi mushrooms there. Some rose hips here. Yeah, see? This is... This is a lot. And I haven't even eaten the rose hip pie that I made yet. So there's that too. Okay, so if I were to use the improvised knife, it'll take about 10 minutes, that's fine. I don't think I need to actually break up that log. Oh, but there's one in the cave. And there's a backpack. And there's stuff in the... Whoa! Okay. That was... Sorry. That was more Christopher Walken than I intended. Uh... Improves fire starting skill by 10 points. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't need it, but thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot more Christopher Walken in that last reaction than I intended. Wow! All right, hang on, let's quickly. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it, but that's fine. I'm, I will take what the game is currently giving me. Because holy crap. This is so nice. Alright, so... Wood match. Cedar firewood. Start fire. That 100% start chance is so nice. Come on, little fire. Okay, now I don't actually have to put a ton of sticks on the fire. There's no reason to. So, why don't I just cook the meat... Also, please tell me... Okay, good. Got my cooking stuff off of the fire. I can repair my bedroll. That is one thing that I need to do. we will take 33 minutes, and these will take that amount of time to cook. So let's go ahead and do that. What a perfect way to spend some time. All right, let's eat that. 
I still have some water on me. Eat that. Man, I am in really, really good shape for this visit to Bleak Inlet. Can't ask for better. All right, now I do probably need to make a little bit more water. So that's what I'll do. Let's just do a minimum amount. Because we've got some time left on this fire. And we've got the two cooking spots. We can just use them to maximum effect here. The cooking pot is, of course, handling this a little bit faster. I probably don't need to do this many more times. Oh, fire, fire. Didn't realize how much time had passed. Okay, yeah, I don't need to make that much more. There, that's almost a gallon, and I still have a lot of coffee and a lot of tea. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this situation. Let's now eat some fresh venison. I'm going to put that on the floor in here. Actually, let's be even smarter about it. I don't remember ever running into a wolf down here, but I also, like... I'm not fully trusting that memory. Because it's been that long since I've moved through this transition zone in this direction. Alright, so now I just need to rest for, like, five hours or so. How warm are we right now? 58 degrees back here in the middle of the night. That's how amazing our gear is at the moment. Pretty freaking great. I'm going to enjoy this stale chocolate bar. Drink a little bit of water. Now, is there anything else that I can do with the time that I have? I mean, not really. Also, I'm just going to drop this book because it's, it's pointless to lug it around. I can start a fire with it, I guess, maybe, but, like, not super important to me to do that right now. Okay, well, um, this is one of those rare times where, like, I'm very okay just passing some time. Well, it's past time for three hours. I can keep an eye on the temperature while I do. Sun's going to start coming up, and then I should be able to sleep for, like, two hours. I'm going to say three, just to milk it for all it's worth. But now we've woken up fully rested. Ooh, the weather looks delightfully foggy, but also a little bit scarily foggy, so this could be interesting here. I'm also, I'm reasonably encumbered, which is not fun. There's nothing I really want to get rid of. God, I've got so much food, and it's glorious. Okay. <laughs> that was the rabbit's footsteps that I could hear. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know if you heard that too. Those of you who were who are using headphones, you, you are more likely to have heard that clearly. But there was just the sound of like feet pattering, and I was like, is that the wolf? Is that the wolf that I wasn't sure would be here? But no, it's just a bunny walking around on the ice. Oh wow, this is really that is a shorter path than I thought it was. We're right next to the exit. And here we are. Bleak inlet. Region. Alrighty then, that was fast. I don't love this fog, I'm not gonna lie. Like, 
Matter of fact, you know what? No. <laughs> just, just no. There's no, there's no reason to. Like, I have... Hello? Um... Was it just clearing up? Is that what happened? Okay, it must have just been clearing up as I was giving up on it. I just, I didn't love the idea of wandering into Timberwolf country. <laughs> Screw you, game. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh my god. The comedy. We, uh, like, you can't make this up. You literally can't make it up. Okay. I just, I didn't like the idea of wandering into Timberwolf country in a thick fog. And so I decided to turn back, and then the fog went away. Wow. Wow. Great. Great. Thanks for that. That was super, super helpful to my anxiety level. Okay, the fog is still... The, the fog did come back, but in fairness, it came back not as bad as it was. Okay. So there's that at least. All right, I'm going to go ahead and step down onto the ice here while also looking for cattails. So this is an area of Bleak Inlet. I've talked a lot in recent episodes about how I'm more familiar with Bleak Inlet now. Not so much up here. <laughs> Not really when it comes to this section of Bleak Inlet. I'm still a bit of a nooblet. So, we're going to have to see how this plays out. I do see some cattails, which is nice. It is getting cold, which is not nice. I think I'm going to take advantage of being at this, like, kind of high ground spot. And I'm going to look for the next area I need to go to. Because I know that there's a, there's a tower up here. Oh, look, sticks. Lots of sticks. I might be able to light a fire and stay pretty warm up here. Because the weather is not awful at the moment. It's genuinely not. This is, oh wow, this is a lot of sticks that the game is handing me. I just don't know if Timberwolves patrol onto this ice, and if they do, I'm in trouble. I would say don't tell me, but by the time you've had a chance to tell me, not only will I have finished this episode and probably be a, I'll, I'll be well away from this area, but also I probably would have recorded another one. That's the beauty of getting back into a rhythm with my schedule, is that I'm getting ahead of the schedule again. Finally. Maybe not the best spot for a fire, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Come on, little fire! We're going to pile all of those on there. And I don't know that that was enough. Yeah, there's Timberwolves down there, for sure. I know there are. I know there are. I remember. I remember clearly. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do here. Because I don't have a choice. Oh, nice! It got warm enough. Just barely. Okay. So, I'm going to heat... Uh, I don't need to drink one of my birch bark teas. I'm going to heat one of these reishi teas. And drink that. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it did get warm enough. Credit where due. Okay. Um, I still want to do what I said I was going to do, which is... 
All right, so the tower, Timberwolf, right there. <laughs> the tower is um, in that direction. But another thing that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. In the next one, I am going to try and, yeah, but I don't have the most visibility right now, so I might try and keep the high ground and go up that way, see if I can. And um, it's just a... Uh, uh, my main goal is to find my way towards the actual buildings in Bleak Inlet, which can give me information that I need for the cannery. And then if I can make it down to the cannery, we might have to wait for an Aurora. And that's if we care about waiting for the cannery. But I kind of want to say hi to Fluffy. You know, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. If you want to call that wolf Fluffy, I know there might be some debate as to whether or not that's Fluffy, but Fluffy is not really where Fluffy used to be. So we can call the one in the cannery Fluffy, right? Right? Or is there another name? Or do I care if there's another name? That's a question I'll think about in between episodes. I'll stop this one here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If you're not new here, look for the join button for access to channel unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes drop every day but Wednesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And comments are always welcome, so leave your thoughts below, and I'll see you next time.